In this video, I'll talk about five remedies for how to stop bad dog breath and later how feeding your dog a healthy kibble diet reduces bad breath in dogs while solving other chronic health problems linked to bad dog breath. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, Canine Nutrition and Home Remedy Specialist. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do. And feel free to comment or ask questions below. Your dog, just like kids, needs oral care daily. This is something that very few dog owners either know about, care about, or take seriously. And it's been researched that 85% of dogs by age two have gum disease requiring immediate attention. Gum disease in dogs has been researched to be one of the leading causes of chronic disease throughout the body. The simple reason for this is that as the gum pockets open up from gingivitis plaque and the daily effects of trapped kibble food particles, and no kibble does not clean teeth regardless of bogus claims by pet food manufacturers, the teeth begin to lose the battle to gum disease and bacteria can easily make its way down to the root of the tooth and into the bloodstream that feeds the gums. From here, that same bacteria is now free to roam the entire body and cause disease anywhere it likes. So it's essential you try and keep your dog's teeth clean. And with this in mind, here's five home remedies that will help. Number one is neem bark powder for teeth, gums and fresh breath. The bark of the neem tree is ground into powder. I've researched the effects of using neem bark extracts and powder for rejuvenating dog's teeth that have become infected, suffering gum disease, gingivitis, covered in hard plaque and tartar, or having bleeding gums and just plain rotten teeth. And this includes the often foul doggy breath that goes with these conditions. The benefit of using neem to clean your dog's teeth is that you won't have to do it daily because the neem will clean up the bacterial buildup from the previous day. And this is more convenient than the daily hassle of brushing with regular chemical-based pastes containing controversial fluoride, SLS, and other chemicals. Studies and thousands of years of traditional use of neem for cleaning teeth have shown that neem prevents and heals gum disease, prevents cavities, eliminates bacteria that cause cavities and inflammation in gums, prevents bacteria from sticking to teeth, reduces plaque, freshens up the breath, prevents the cause of chronic disease through the body from gum disease, and it's the neem bark powder that's the most effective for oral care. The added bonus too is that neem bark powder is amazing for the following. Protecting and detoxing the liver, antioxidants to combat aging, and promoting healing of gastrointestinal issues, helping with stomach issues, controlling intestinal worms, and boosting the immune system. Sprinkle a pinch on your dog's food, small pinch, small dogs, medium pinch, medium dogs, and a larger pinch for larger dogs for digestive and immune system support. For the teeth and gums, you can buy some dog-specific toothpaste and a toothbrush, or simply add some neem bark powder to a little smooth peanut butter and brush the teeth. Number two is coconut oil. Raw coconut oil also acts as a wonderful canine toothpaste because it has antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Plus, most dogs love the taste. You can use a brush or simply mix up a little coconut oil with the neem powder and simply use your fingers and rub it over your dog's teeth and gums. Job done. Get into the habit and you and your dog will be well rewarded for minimal effort now and to save a fortune in vet bills and health problems down the road. Number three is probiotics. A great way to minimize bad breath in your dog. Give your dog probiotics to help create beneficial bacteria in the gut and mouth and to replace or eliminate bad doggy breath. They will also help get rid of bad doggy odor and reduce or eliminate gas and belching. Your dog needs probiotics every day. They're essential to good health and need to be available as a, as a constant in your dog's life. And varying the types of probiotic is important to get maximum benefits from various strains of healthy bacteria. Choosing a quality probiotic supplement can be very confusing as most of the products available are simply not good enough. Humans and dogs do not need different types of probiotics and generally the ones made for dogs are way too low in available strains. You'll want a probiotic with as many species of good bacteria as possible, with at least 2 billion CFUs per scoop, and not made in China as the standard is not verifiable and often contains animal digest and sugars. Powders are best and simply added to food. There are many brands available, and by far the best one I've researched over the years is called Pet Ultimates Probiotics for Dogs. For dogs up to 50 pounds, you add one scoop daily to the food, and for all dogs over 50 pounds, two scoops daily added to food. At one scoop a day, it will last six months, although for very small dogs, 12 pounds and under, I'd go with just a half scoop, and it'll last a year. And I'll leave a link to it in the description below. 
Number four is dog dental chews. Get your dog some greenies. They're dog dental chews that have great feedback from thousands of dog owners. They're USA made and come in many sizes for all dogs. They do a good job of cleaning teeth and will replace the teeth brushing part which leaves just the application of knee powder mixed with coconut oil using your finger three times a week. I do recommend you get the next size up from the sizes stated for your dog's weight when buying greenies. Don't feed more than is the minimum necessary to get your dog's teeth clean. One greenie a day should do it, because they're not treats, even though many dog owners use them as such. Number five is a combination of two home remedies when brushing your dog's teeth is not an option. Get some plaque off for dogs and begin adding a little to your dog's meals each day as directed on the container. Within two to eight weeks, what will happen is the plaque and tartar covering your dog's teeth will become porous and soft. Some will naturally fall off, but the trick is for your dog to chew on something hard that naturally makes all the tartar fall off by contact to leave healthy shiny white teeth and no smelly dog breath. So you need something like a deer antler chew, which is natural, clean, long lasting, and most dogs love them. Spending time chewing away at the antler and cleaning their teeth in the process. They are much safer than nyla bones. Don't get these as they splinter fragments of plastic, which are then swallowed. All those rawhide chews, which are potentially deadly with bleached and chemically treated leather hide and toxic dyes used in their manufacture. Plus they make a gummy mess on the carpets, unlike deer antler. Yes, you can use this system of cleaning your dog's teeth even if they do let you open their mouth and stick things in there. But remember, neem bark powder does more than clean your dog's teeth and purify the breath. It also has amazing health benefits for the entire digestive system and the liver, plus it helps to balance your dog's immune system, which is a major health benefit. I believe the trigger point of the vast majority of disease in dogs begins in the mouth, as discussed earlier on. Cleaning your dog's teeth and keeping them clean is one of the best health practices you can perform for your dog at home and will do much to counter chronic disease down the line. Today, 96% of pet parents around the world are feeding a dry commercial pet food diet, while 9 out of 10 dog health problems today are as a direct result of a diet a dog eats, including the foul dog breath. Food is the key to life and what goes into your dog's food bowl makes all the difference, especially with canine tooth and gum disease. Diet is also directly responsible for health issues such as natural vitamin and ionic mineral deficiency as kibble only contains synthetic alternatives not well observed by dogs. And there's allergies, blocked anal glands, diarrhea, yeast infections, ear infections, skin and coat problems, hot spots, arthritis and digestive issues. So switching your dog to a raw food diet goes a long way to solving the problem. But if you don't want to change your dog's existing kibble diet, I created a healthy kibble diet to help reclaim your dog's bad breath from the long-term feeding of kibble. Once you begin a simple plan of adding some supplemental extras to your dog's meals, your dog's gastrointestinal system gets the vital help it needs to function better with increased gut flora health, better self-cleaning, improved nutritional uptake, less oxidation, better digestion, better rehydration, better hormone production, and with greater immunity to disease, better skin health, and much improved breath. It works wonders for your dog very quickly as within days you'll notice positive improvements and a great diet for the kibble feeder as vet costs are cut by 50%. And you'll see a link to a video in the description below explaining more about the healthy kibble diet. As many pet parents have come to me for help have found, kibble sustains their dog's life but it doesn't provide enough protection for many day-to-day -day health problems or that foul doggy breath. For an across-the-board whole body health boost, the healthy kibble diet ensures your dog is getting more of the vital nutrients missing from a regular kibble diet and provides a timely opportunity to clean up some basic health problems and fix bad doggy breath while adding several quality years to your dog's life. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, talk to you then. Bye-bye.